This sensor example demonstrates connecting a load cell to a 500 range data taker data logger. We're going to connect the load cell to channel 2 using configuration 15. When we inspect the outside of the load cell, we see that the plus input, that's the red wire, this would connect to the uh, star terminal on channel 2. The minus input, the black wire, that connects to the R terminal. The plus output connects to the plus terminal, the plus output being the white wire. And the minus output, which is the green wire, connects to the minus terminal on channel 2. When we inspect the calibration sheet, it gives a figure of 2.0006 millivolts per volt as its calibration figure. That's parts per thousand, that's millivolts per volt for 100 pounds. We're going to scale this in kilograms, so that would be the equivalent of 45.4 uh, kilos. We have wired the load cell, and we have a 500 range data taker connected, and we have made a software connection between Delogger and the data taker. Now we right click on here, this is the programming window for the 500 range loggers, select analog, we're going to wire channel 2, select bridge, configuration 15. There's our, this is the, the wires here, we've got the red wire for the input, there's the black wire down here, the output is the white and the green. Okay, now we'll send this over to our connection, usual warning. Check the text window, clear the current figures. Alright, here are the readings. Now this is the zero reading, which is minus 73 parts per million, you'll notice. Now we need to scale the reading, because if we grab it, we can move the value. Of course, it's negative um, under compression and under tension, it's positive. So when I stretch it, it becomes positive, otherwise it's negative. Okay, now let's go back to the programming window and scale it. So if we come to settings, right click on span, select properties. Now the physical parameters will be 0 to uh, it's uh, 45.4 kilos. And the sensor signal at zero, it minus it was minus 73, and the at uh, 100 pounds, it is going to be in parts per million 2,000.6, and this result will be in kilograms. We check, we check apply, and close. Now we come back to our setting here. I'm going to right click here, select properties. Ah, wrong one. We right click here. Channel options, data conversion, scaling, span, kilos. Now, we'll add a label to it. Oh, wait. Click OK. Now, we send this now off to our connection. Oops, we can check our usual error. Now, text window. Clear the text window. Here are the readings in kilos. So when we stretch it, we get that. And if we compress it, of course, get a negative number. This particular has been set up. That particular load cell has been set up for tension.